Influencer, which is a company that you fill out surveys, kind of, you do reviews, you know, you keep up with it, you answer the questions they ask, and sometimes you get sent box boxes, which are products that you use and review for them. I did one before. I will link it up here so you guys can watch it. It was on the new Maybelline products. So this time they asked me some questions about hair dye and do I dye my hair? What colors do I like? Do I like bright, bold colors? Yada, yada, yada. I said, yes, I like to dye my hair. It's something I've been trying not to do, but it's time. They sent me the Color Sensation Rich Long Lasting Color Cream by Garnier. And the shade is Head in the Clouds. And I'm pretty excited to try this. So let's jump into it. How about we? I have a towel. Hopefully, I don't need it, but I have it just in case. So it comes with the bottle, you know, hair dye bottle, the color cream. And it just seems to be your standard hair dye stuff, whatever. It also comes with the after color conditioner, which is usually pretty good. I love hair dye conditioners. And then of course your instruction booklet paper thing that's the size of my body. Oh, also you get this cute little dye brush, which I probably won't use. I'll probably use my hands and gloves. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the gloves on. Now, this color is best used over light colored hair. Put gloves on and snap off the applicator tip of the developer bottle. Squeeze out the entire contents of the colorant cream tube into the developer bottle. Place applicator cap back on developer bottle and close tightly. Place your gloved finger over open tip and shake well. Apply immediately. It says to leave on here for 25 minutes. Open the developer bottle. Color cream is the quickie part on the cap to open it. You can squeeze the contents into the bottle. My husband doesn't know I'm doing this, so I wonder what he's going to say when he gets here. <laughs> Great. Uh, I think I got most of it into this. What do you guys think? Place the cap back on. Place the finger over and shake. Okay. So I think that's ready. I don't think it really matters if I have the towel on, but you know, we're gonna attempt it anyway. I just feel like it hides some of my hair or whatever. So I'm gonna pull my ponytail out and shake it out. You guys, my hair has been horrible. I've been using the Halo Beauty Vitamin Pills by Tati and my hair has been so oily. Usually I can go four or five, sometimes even six days. You know, on that fifth and sixth day, it just looks cute in a ponytail without washing my hair too much. But this is literally two day old hair and it looks like two week old hair. Like. My hair has been getting so oily so quick since I've started those. It's got to be that because it didn't start happening until probably three or four days into me taking those. I've had to wash my hair so much more than I'm used to. Let's go ahead and start this process. guys so it's been about five minutes it took me about five minutes to complete and cover my entire head at least it feels like it's all the way covered I'm just now kind of massaging it in to kind of get anything that I might have missed but I think that for the most part at least my entire head is covered it's turning already I was a little Surprised that the actual dye itself didn't have a color to it, but it doesn't. I'm a little concerned that the ends are so blue and then it's a little green up through here, but hopefully it just hasn't developed there yet and it will because I'm pretty sure all of the blonde is saturated as well as the dark parts of my hair. So maybe it'll blend a little better. I'm not sure, honestly. There was enough to cover my entire head and then there was a little more in there. So I just squeezed out probably, I didn't get all of what was left in there. I just squeezed out some. There's apparently a hole in the glove because only on my finger right here, it came through, which is kind of weird. There's a maybe a little bit left, but I don't 
think there's enough like if I needed a significant amount more my hair is not really thick it's actually kind of thin and then it's kind of long it's about to here <laughs> Um, but it's not super long, so if you have a super long hair or thick hair, you know, you might need two bottles. You know, you'd hate to get halfway finished with your hair and then run out of hair dye. I remember when I was a kid having to go with hair dye in my hair or even with my friends helping them do their hair, having to halfway through the dyeing process have to go to the store to get more dye and then do it all over again so that's something you kind of have to live and learn you have to figure it out for yourself how much hair dye you need how many boxes will work for you so I'm gonna wait about 25 minutes probably about 20 it's been about five so it is 11 30 a.m. and I will be back at around 11 50 okay guys so this is what it looks like still wet I know I said I was going to come back before I rinsed it out, but I just thought that would be just unnecessary and just wasting time, honestly, because why would you need to look at it? I don't know. Whatever. So this is what it looks like wet. I actually really like the color. I think it's a little bit bluer than I thought it would be for some reason. I don't know why. I'll have to see it dry before I make my final, like decision on whether I like it or not. I actually really like the color that it is and I think that it kind of uh, blends decently enough, you know. You can tell by my roots that where I got the dye on the darker spots that it didn't take at all, like at all. It's still dark brown. So the conditioner, the one it has like the rose oil or whatever, it smells really good. The conditioner actually smelled really good. It was pink in color. It was pretty thick. Most of the hair dye conditioners are thick and they usually work really good as far as the conditioner goes. I think that the dye dried my hair out just a little bit, but you know, that's obvious. Most hair dyes, if not all hair dyes, dry your hair out. It just comes with the territory. I use the Honest Beauty, let me see. This is an unopened one but it's the beyond hydrated moisture milk I've had this in a favorites video before I still use this I have like three backups so it kind of helps to I guess combat the dryness of the hair dye or at least I hope it does I haven't dyed my hair in a long time at least six months if not longer than that so I will pop back on here when it is dry and I've styled it or whatever and let you guys see it then but for now I I like it I can't give like a definitive review because I don't know how long it lasts, how many washes it takes, but I like the color so far. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a bit. So this is it. This is almost dry. I haven't styled it or anything, so let me know what you guys think. I think I like this. I'm going to have to see how it fades or whatever, but it performed pretty good. Like I said earlier, it did not stick to the darker spots, like where the brown fades to blonde and whatnot. It really didn't color that at all. Definitely didn't color the brown spots. So, but I like the way it worked out. I mean, most bright colors like this don't color dark hair, and it says that on the side of the box. So, I mean, hello. It tells you it's not going to cover your dark hair. Okay, guys, so I am using my webcam. If the quality seems a little worse, that is why I have my external hard drive plugged into my USB on my computer and I'm just being lazy instead of unplugging it. I just wanted to pop on here and show you guys what it looks like now. I washed it once, literally once, and um, it looks more like the color depicted on the box, I guess. It's a little lighter, more gray than blue. I just can't believe it faded like this, like so fast. Literally one wash. like. My hair hasn't gotten wet other than the one wash. I just can't believe it. I mean, I guess I can because, you know, it's drugstore or box dye or whatever. And it was, it's not expensive. So I guess you can't really expect too much out of it. But then again, it's like, come on now, you know, regardless, it should be higher quality. I like the color that it faded to, but that's besides the point. It's not the color that originally came. I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. I don't know what's going to happen after the second wash. So <laughs> if it's even going to be there, I just really hope it doesn't kind of fade 
to like a green color because that's not gonna be any good. I don't know, I just wanted to show you guys what it was looking like. My hair feels slightly drier than it usually does, which is why I haven't been dyeing my hair. I'm trying to let it grow. I'm not gonna dye it again. I'm just gonna keep letting it grow out. I'm sure this will wash out. And I used like a blue shampoo by Joico in that you would think that that would kind of help the blue stay because that color, that shampoo does have color deposits and it's supposed to like help to brighten your hair or whatever. So, but it didn't, it just faded a lot, like probably three or four shades actually. Back to the other Ashley from a week ago. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. I'd highly appreciate it. Go ahead and follow me on all my social media. They will all be linked down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel with your notifications on so you don't miss anything from me in the future. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.